Hi everybody and welcome to my latest YouTube video. It's Beakley Dave, your friendly neighbourhood record collector calling to you from Derby in the UK. Uh, today is sort of like a follow-up to the video we did yesterday where I showed you an unusual white album. Um, so I thought I'd show you another one. Uh, this one's probably not quite as strange or weird as that one. Um, it's one I've had uh, I think I got this last year from my friends at BPN Records, but I could be wrong. And this is actually an Italian version. You do get the Beatles very, very faint there. It is a later copy. It is a, you get the Beatles there, I don't know if you can see it. Just there. There. It's hard to do with this light. Um, it is a side opener and it just says EMI Italia SPA. So the track list and everything is exactly the same as the UK versions. There, see that? The Beatles there. See it now? The Beatles. Four photos and the track listing. And this is, although this is on Apple, it's a slightly different Apple label. And I don't think there's any spelling mistakes on this because somebody says, oh, but while my guitar gently weeps, it's spelt uh, incorrectly on the um, Indian one yesterday. Yeah, made in Italy by EMI Italia. And it's 2C16404173, I think. And it is a lighter, it's a much lighter Apple label. Side one. Side two. lovely lovely record but this one is isn't as um, heavy as the one from yesterday very very nice hardly been played this to be honest virtually mint condition um you do I don't know if you can see you do get some sort of stamp there just there I don't know if, if that's catching it which i presume means it's been imported or something just came in white sleeves very very nice sounding record this is sides three and four if I've got them in the right way Lovely. Side three. But side four. Again, I didn't pay a great deal for this. I think I paid. I don't think it was a lot. Um. I think I paid £30 for it last year or maybe the year before um, quite hard to come by in the UK these are obviously if you live in Italy they're not this is a it's a reissue from the 70s or the 80s obviously but if you look in there I don't know if you can see can it, there's actually that is like a flip back or tab back or whatever you call them Great sounding record, it's on par with the UK equivalents of the time. Again, it's just something slightly different, although there's not really that much difference on this one to the UK version, apart from it's made in Italy or pressed in Italy. Um, like I say, the weight of the record on this isn't 
as heavy as the one we showed yesterday um, and the research I've done you didn't ever get the photos or the poster of this um, don't know what it's worth um, but you know it's just one of those things which we were saying yesterday because I've got that many vehicles records and I'm just trying to get things that are slightly different and the thing that's different with this is it's it's still on Apple like the UK but it's a slightly lighter Apple and obviously it's pressed in Italy ah pressed from around 1976 it says on here so yeah so it'd be a uh, mid 70s pressing great sounding record though to be honest it, it is a really really nice lovely sounding record um the other thing i got i can remember what i've done with it I did have something else to show you folks. Ah. Was well, I got this yesterday in the post. The Beacles Mythology. Volume 1, 1962 to 1964. Now I already had Volume 3, which we have done a video on. Which is that one. That was four CDs. This is three CDs. I haven't had time to play it yet. Um. Some cracking songs on here though. Uh, a lot of it, event. I think a lot of these originally was sort of like released on things like um, the anthology albums and stuff like that. Um, 1999, this came out though. Published 1999, Strawberry, Rec Strawberry Records. But then on the labels it says Real to Real. But you've got umpteen versions of Thank You Girl. Um, yeah, I've got some live versions that they did for the radio of A Taste of Honey, Love Me Do, Some Other Guy, Keep Your Hands Off My Baby, Beautiful Dreamer, I saw her stand in there. Uh, you've got John Lennon and Jukebox Jewelry. Then you've got I'll Get You Glad All Over, Twist and Shout, You Really Got a Hold On Me. These, for the, these are BBC uh, recordings. Um, what else have you got on here? You've got the Beatles on the Morecambe and Wise show. If you live in America, you might not know who Morecambe and Wise were, but they were like a really, really big double act in the, I think from like the late 40s to the 80s, uh, Eric Morecambe and Ernie Wise. And if, I think I think the clip is still on YouTube where they're singing on Moonlight Bay and it's the Beatles with... Ernie Wise and then for some reason Eric Morecambe comes on because the Beatles are in like blazers and boaters or whatever you call them you know straw hats and then Eric Morecambe comes up dressed as a Beatle and they keep shouting where's Ringo but instead of Ringo he says oh there he is there's Bongo and he tries to sing uh, Twist and Shout and She Loves You while they're singing on, <coughs> on me like that it's, it is actually very very funny but for that Morgan Wise show, they, they actually did quite a few songs. They did, did the intro, This Boy, All My Loving, I Want to Hold Your Hand, Hello Bongo, that's Eric Morgan talking to Ringo, Moonlight Bay and Dirty Deck Chair. What else have we got on here? Uh, New Musical Express Winners Concert from 1964 intro by mother k she loves you you can't do that twist and shout long tall sally can't buy me love royal command performance from 18th sorry from the 8th of the first sorry from the 4th of the 11th 1963 you've got from me to you she loves you till there was you twist and shout and then a dickie henderson out show You've got Sunday Night at the London Palladium from the 13th of the 10th, 63. You've got From Me To You, I'll Get You, She Loves You, Twist and Shout. Uh, then what else have we got? Morecambe and Wise, Paul Winner's Party. 
Uh, there's a bit with Rolf Harris on here where they do kangaroo, time a kangaroo down sport. Um, Saturday night, sorry, a Sunday night, the London played him from the 12th of the first 64. I want to hold your hand, this boy, all my loving. Money, that's what I want. Twist and shout and an outro. And then there's things about John Lennon accepting a speech for it in his own right and things like that. Uh, I don't know what the sound quality is like on it because, like I say, I haven't played it yet. I just thought I'd show you to make this video worthwhile. Um, so I've got to look out for volume two now. And then I'll add the set, won't I? So that's volume one and that's volume three. So I need volume two. Didn't pay a lot for it. £20, I think, I paid for that for three, for three CDs. Oh, and they go on. <laughs> Each one of these CDs goes on for over an hour, by the way. CD1 goes on for 64 minutes, 49 seconds. CD2 is 68 minutes, 11 seconds. And CD3 is 72 minutes and 4 seconds. You did get some goodies with this, by the way. You got, like, um, you did get a little book with it. Tells you all about the songs on it. Nice pictures. More information on the songs that are on it. I'll leave it there if you want to zoom in and have a look. And there again. You like my cats in here is, is, is not very well at the minute, so I'm like looking at making sure he's okay as well. And then you obviously get a pamphlet for the what else is you can get off them. And then the CDs are housed like that. Nice little thing to have, like I say, didn't cost a lot. Um, so I hope you've all enjoyed this little video, only a little one today. Uh, got things to do. Whatever you're doing, please stay safe. Um, I'm going to go downstairs now and watch Formula One and see what uh, Fernando Alonso can do. Um, first race of the season. Uh, please stay tuned because there might be some more videos later on today. Uh, once again, thank you to everybody that is subscribed and you're doing me proud. You really, really are doing me proud. Uh, and remember you lot out there at the beat of Beetle Dave. Uh, without you, this channel wouldn't exist. Uh, and I do mean this sincerely. I'm not taking the mickey out. You know, I do appreciate appreciate each and every one of you out there. Um, you know who take the time to watch my videos, leave me comments, leave me likes, guys. For you know, you know, even if you don't subscribe, just leave me a like. Uh, but obviously, if you're not subscribed, just think about subscribing because it is free. And we do have quite a bit of fun on, on this channel. Uh, it is 99% about the Beatles, hence the name Beatle Dave. I was going to do a thing on George Harrison today. I was going to thank his um, videos. But then I was going through YouTube this morning and I saw that somebody had done one of them the, the other day. And I thought, well, I don't want to seem like I'm jumping on the bandwagon. So that's why I didn't do it. Um, I might do it later on in the week or, let you know, in a few weeks Uh but I will rank his albums from Wonderwall up to Cloud Nine. Like the albums he actually released while I was alive. I won't include the Travelling Wilburys or the Live in uh, Japan or Brainwashed. So it would be, you know, his proper studio albums that was released while I was alive. If you want me to do that, let me know. If you don't want me to do it, say, Dave, you know, you've seen enough of them. That's fair enough. You know, I'm here to please you. As George once said to, to Paul, whatever it is you want me to do, I will do. I'm here to please you. <laughs> See, I don't take myself that serious, do I? Maybe I should. Maybe I should. All right, so as always, love your records, cherish your records. From time to time, you have to clean your records. But above all, play your records. That's what they're there for, to play. Same with your CDs. Uh, unfortunately, because this came mid-afternoon yesterday, I haven't had time to listen to it. So, until I've listened to it, 
I can't really give you a proper review of it, can I? That's just me being honest. I have got some other records that are supposed to be coming in the next few days in the post, whether they will or not, I don't know, because our post is still a bit iffy. Uh, so like I say, this is probably going to be it for today. You might get another one later on, I don't know. Um, but until then, till I see you all again, please, you know, honestly stay safe. Beetle Dave loves you all. Peace and love. And I'll see you very, very soon. Till i ducks. <laughs>